Hi all, welcome to Tech Forum. In this video, let us see the details on emulators in AEM. AEM enables the authors to view a page in an emulator that simulates the environment in which an end user will view the page, which helps the authors to test their content with the same look and feel like actual devices without buying them. The emulator framework provides content authoring within a simulated user interface, um, example a mobile device, then again adopts the page content according to the simulated UI, means the author can view the content in different devices, also allows the creation of custom uh, emulators. We can create custom emulators with the required screen resolution. The emulators helps the authors to test the content of the responsive websites quickly without publishing it. AEM enables the responsive layout for your pages using a combination of mechanism. The first one is layout container component, then layout mode, then the last one is emulator. The layout container component enables a grid paragraph system that allows the authors to add and position the components within a responsive grid. It can be used as a default parses for your page or made available to the authors in the component browser. Means the authors can use this as a regular component for column control. The default layout container component is defined under this path lips WCM foundation components responsive grid. So you can see here this is the default one yeah, layout container. So the core component layout container uh, inherit from this specific component. The next one is layout mode. Once the layout container is positioned on your page, you can use the layout mode to position the content within the responsive grid. The next one is emulator. As discussed already, this allows you to create and edit responsive websites that rearrange the layout according to the device slash window size by resizing the components interactively. The user can then see how the content will be rendered using the emulator on different devices. Let us quickly see the emulator related configurations. The first one is use responsive grid in template or page component of the website. So let me show that uh, if I go to this weekend landing page template. So if you see here there is a root node under the structure there is a root node then it's pointing to this uh, weekend components container. So if I go to that specific component uh, weekend uh, then components uh, then container if I go to that this in turn inheriting from this core components container v1 container so let me quickly go to that core component um, container yes here then if i go to the v1 then again container so you see here wcm foundation components responsive grid this is the one we uh, discussed earlier this is the default container or responsive grid component under lips folder so the template or the page component um, should use this container as the root parses um, so that other components can be arranged within that uh, container. The next one is register your page components for emulation. To enable the emulator to support your pages, you must register your page components with mobile emulator provider OSJ configurations. Let me show that uh, if I go here, yeah, I am showing the example through this weekend application. So if I go to apps, weekend, uh, then OSJ config, um, config.author, then com.day.cq, WCM mobile, core, IMBL, mobile emulator, provider, then weekend. It's a factory uh, configuration, so we are just uh, adding this weekend here. This configuration is only required for author run mode, as this emulator will be enabled only for authors. Then if you see here, mobile.resource types, Specify the page components here. Weekend site is hosted uh, based on this specific page component, weekend components page. In your case, specify all the available page components. Let me quickly show the OSA console. So if I go here, so then you can see here like uh, multiple uh, emulator uh, configuration. Uh, the first one is for core components, then another one is uh, page. Uh, this is for WCM foundation components page. Uh, then uh, weekend is having the uh, weekend components page. I think if the components are inheriting uh, properly in your case, I don't think so this configuration is required. So obviously this configuration will reflect for you also. Uh, this core components are this uh, uh, page component. The next one is specify the device groups. 
specify the device groups that should appear in the devices list of the emulators. In order for AEM to display a certain groups of emulators in the bar, we must provide that group using the CQ colon device groups property. There are two places where this must be done on the structure node of your website. Um, example slash content slash demo slash JCR colon content on the structures node of your template. Let us quickly see that I am under this node landing page template structure JCR content. You can see a property CQ colon device groups is pointing to mobile slash group slash responsive. The default device groups are available in lib slash setting slash mobile slash group slash response. So even etc slash mobile slash group slash responsive configuration is available. Some of this is not considered in the latest versions. So to override this configuration, the default configuration, the configuration should be under slash conf uh, then in the settings uh, folder. So let me go into that. Uh, let me copy this. Then if I go into lips lib slash settings then under this mobile responsive yeah you can see here responsive then if you go to this jcr content you can see there is a something like capabilities you can read through this emulators property this list all the devices here only minimum devices are enabled but uh, we can override this if required so then description then title um, so all those uh, configurations but if you see the actual device configurations are uh, default configurations are available under this node lips wcm mobile components emulators if i go into that yeah, you can see this emulators then you can see uh, android base uh, this is the base uh, components uh, for the emulator so then every um, devices are extending that then uh, resource super type is that base component the individual devices if you see here galaxy uh, 5 um, so there is uh, this is pointing to this uh, resource super type uh, as emulator base and then there is a node called cq colon emulator config if we go here uh, there is some properties can rotate true uh, device pixel ratio uh, then uh, height of the device uh, then width of the de device then touch scrolling this is the widgets you can enable true uh, even the can rotate even you can have your custom uh, widgets even you can create custom emulators based on your need the next one is define the breakpoints to the emulators this will group the devices into a specific breakpoints based on the device width and height you can define multiple breakpoints based on your need let us quickly see that uh, if i go here again into this uh, landing page template structure jcr content um, you can see a node called cq colon responsive so then there is a node again called breakpoints then if you see there is two breakpoints defined so phone the width is 768 it's called a smaller screen uh, then uh, tablet the width is 1200 so what does that mean is you can have multiple devices let's say you are uh, enabling 10 devices for testing then that will be grouped under these two breakpoints phone and tablet based on the uh, device width let's say like if there is there is a phone uh, with the uh, width 500 it will be grouped under smaller screen until the 768 beyond this uh, until this 1200 will be grouped under tablet beyond that it is default um, grouped under desktop the breakpoints helps to arrange the components for different devices based on the width of the device in the emulator define multiple breakpoints based on your website requirements the next one is enabling the responsive css css for the breakpoints using less css processor am uses less to generate parts of the necessary css these need to be included for your project the css helps to display the website based on the breakpoints let us quickly see that um, let me go here now if you see here there is a weekend um, apps weekend client lips uh, there is a um, client lips specific to this grid you can see this um, yeah weekend dot grid then it is included into the website through this client lib base if you see the categories uh, then embedded you can see uh, this grid also weekend grid so it means it included into the website 
now if i come to this it's have a file called grid.less here again uh, two breakpoints enabled if you see here, uh, one first one is the default then the phone then tablet so means like plus one um two we defined phone and the tablet other one is the default one again the column maximum column is defined as uh, 12. the default grid file is here um, lips wcm foundation client lips grid grid base so we are importing that uh, means it's included we are including the styles from that file also then we have some uh, grid column then padding and padding left um, if you want you can uh, enable otherwise this this is the main one how many uh, breakpoints you are going to uh, define you can verify whether the emulator is enabled for a page or not through this specific url page info.json then the page path or the template path if you see your content weekend usen so if you access here and search for emulators, you can see all the list of emulators enabled for this, like uh, um, groups, then uh, which devices are enabled. And same way, if I go to the template path, weekend settings, um, uh, template initial or structure, whatever, it will again list out what are all the emulators enabled for this. Let us quickly see the weekend website template. So here I am accessing this template, then I am in initial.html also in the layout mode you can see there is a structure initial content and layout i'm i'm into the layout mode right now then if you see here these are all the devices enabled desktop galaxy s7 ipad retina and 8 8 plus and x so also there are two breakpoints already we seen that smaller screen and tablet let me let me see this is the device galaxy s7 i click on that it's saying it's a smaller screen um so because the width of this device is around let's say 350 uh, we define the breakpoint at 768. So now if again I select iPhone uh, 8 plus again this fall under um, smaller screen. But if I open this iP iPad retina again saying smaller screen but I don't have any device that fall under this uh, tablet. Then I can click on maybe uh, desktop. So this is another default breakpoint. So now what you can do is you, got, you can go into this particular uh, de select particular device. So then it will go into that specific breakpoint then you should be able to adjust this width of this uh, uh, components or uh, grid. So here it's changed. Now if I go to another device, but if we, within this breakpoint, uh, smaller breakpoint, uh, all the devices will be impacted with the changes. For example, this change, if I go to iPhone, yeah, there also it's impacted. If I go to desktop now, so it's not impacted. Same way, if I do some change in this uh, desktop right now, um, I changed it and uh, if we go to iPad Retina, um, so then uh, go to iPhone, uh, then Galaxy. So uh, yeah, so it's like based on the breakpoint, the changes will get uh, reflected. Same thing you can do for uh, pages also. Let us now see how to customize the breakpoints. As a first step, enable the additional breakpoints to the grid.less file. So let me do that. Let me copy this. And if I go here, then grid.less. I am doing this in again with the weekend website. I just, uh, if you see here, I enable some uh, additional breakpoints. So one is, uh, first one is uh, uh, max width is 360, is for extra uh, small devices. Uh, then min width uh, 361, then max width 480, this is for small devices. Then medium uh, 481 and max width 770. Um, then large devices again um, 741 to 992 then extra large 9932 max width 1200 uh, remaining all go under this uh, default uh, breakpoint again the max column i am not changing i am still keeping it as uh, 12. next up is add these breakpoints at the template level if you see here again conf weekend landing page template uh, structure jcr content cq responsive breakpoints Right now there are two breakpoints. We are going to change that. Here again title. Uh, this describes the generic device grouping name. Uh, then the width. Uh, this defines the maximum width in pixels for that generic uh, device grouping. Let me now customize this. The first one is phone. Maybe I will rename this to x small. So just to say x small. Then uh, again going to this refresh. Uh, the title I will change again. Uh, I'll say extra small. Then the width going to be uh, 360. This is fine now. Uh, let me save this. Then tablet I will rename to small again. Small.
normal that's fine now if I go here again change I'm changing this name to uh, small then uh, the width is going to be 480 this is fine now let me copy paste this node again okay paste it I'm going to rename this to um, small sorry medium okay rename this to medium this is fine now if I again refresh it change this title to medium uh, then 82 770 770 this is fine now again I will copy this and paste it yeah now I will rename this to um, large large that's fine now yeah let me change this to large 992. 992 this is fine again I will copy this large and paste it here this time it's going to be extra large this is fine now if I go here I will say extra large this is going to be fine now yeah let us now go and access this page again maybe I will go with the template that's fine I will just refresh this now you can see there are additional breakpoints extra small small medium large extra large we are not changing anything on the devices that we can see next so now if I click on any of this device it's saying it's a extra small then if I click on iPhone it's a small then if I click on I iPad retina it's a medium but I don't have any device for large or extra large if I go to desktop then it's a de desktop view now you can modify the website based on the new breakpoints let me do that Galaxy S7 it's a extra small so let me go and do that let me maybe one then if I go to iPhone that change will be uh, reflected here yeah, then uh, if I go to iPad Retina, then I can maybe modify like this. If I go again here, the changes uh, will not be reflected. So if I go to desktop, still it is uh, because last time we changed it. Maybe I can do like this. Yeah, desktop is complete. If I go to iPad Retina, so somehow like desktop and sometimes so uh, overriding. So if I keep it and go and see, yeah, now it's fine. iPad Retina. Yeah, it's like overriding. I'm not sure I need to check that. Otherwise, if you see the iPhone, still it's a small uh, breakpoint. Let us now see how to customize the emulators. Remove or add new devices to the emulator. The default emulators are coming from Lips, Settings, Mobile, Groups, Responsive. So over here. So let's copy this and um, uh, put it into Conf, Global, Settings, Mobile, Groups, Responsive. We already discussed. Uh, under conf folder we can override this so let me copy this maybe mobile copy if I go to conf yeah, global settings then let me paste this yeah, even you can keep it under the specific site specific conf but I am going with global um, so save this then if I go to mobile groups response I don't need these folders to be overwritten I will just delete those folders that's fine only response you I'm keeping here default uh, then touch yeah now this is fine so even uh, we can modify this uh, emulator property right now so what I'm going to do is go to JCR content then emulators just to open this I'm going to remove all the simulators apart from this galaxy 7 so do that seven yeah do that now save this yeah now this is fine now let me go and refresh this yeah now if i go here i can see only galaxies uh, s7 so other devices are uh, removed so now to create a new emulator um so again the default emulators are here so if i go to then again to lips 
So this time you need to go to the WCM, the components, the emulator components. Um, so sorry, yeah. Go to WCM, then uh, go to mobile again. Uh, go here, yeah. Mobile components. Uh, then you can see that uh, uh, emulators here. Yeah. Sorry, is it this group? Yeah, emulators. Here you can see different uh, uh, devices. So let me see this. Maybe like a Galaxy S7. So as we discussed already, there is a JCR title. You can specify component group is again hidden. Uh, then resource super type uh, WCM mobile components emulator base. So then emulator config. Um, then device pixel ratio height. Uh, then like uh, width. You can find all the available default emulators through this URL. You can see um, bin WCM mobile then emulators.json. It will list out all the default emulators. Let me create a new emulator for Google Pixel XL. So copy this Galaxy 5 Note 2 apps slash project. My case it's weekend. Then emulators folder. So let me first copy this then go into apps then I am going inside the weekend then I am creating a folder called emulators here create create node it should be sling folder then emulators this is fine yeah save this then go and paste that yeah now this is fine now I will let me rename this Google Galaxy Fi to Google Pixel. Pixel Excel. This is fine. Now, if I go to this, maybe I will change this name. Google Pixel. Excel. This is fine. Now, if I go to the emulator config, the height is two five six zero. Oh, let me add that two five. And then the width is 1440. Then 1440. This is fine. Then the device pixel ratio is 3.5. So, so let me show you how I got those values. So this website screen size.es Google Pixel Excel. It will show you the uh, width and height. Then I just uh, googled it. What is the pixel ratio device pixel ratio then it's saying 3.5 for pixel x the device pixel ratio is the ratio between the physical pixels on the hardware screen and the logical pixels means the css resolution the emulator shows physical size divided by the device pixel ratio while rendering the ui can rotate uh, this widgets you can enable true uh, then again uh, touch scrolling uh, if you want you can keep it as uh, true now the emulator component is ready. Let's go and change the responsive properties under this conf. So then if I go here, let me copy this first. Then if I go to this JCR content, then the emulators, if I go here, I'm going and adding a new emulator here. Just to do this. Yeah, this is fine. Let me go here. Now if I go and refresh this page, yeah, if I go here again, so I can see now the two two devices. If, we, if I go to Excel, so it's again is pointing small because the width is high, but still the device pixel ratio is 3.5. So that is the reason the emulator is showing this uh, as a small device. Yeah, same thing. Even you can see it here. Um, content weekend US in HTML. Um, so same thing is reflected. Galaxy S7, Google Pixel Excel. If it is not reflecting here, um, so you need to enable that device group property and pointing to the corresponding device group uh, in this uh, uh, JCR content node of this weekend uh, website. So, but here because we have changed in the uh, uh, editable template level, so it's automatically reflected here also. So now if I go here and to show you the device group, what we pointed, so let me go to again conf, yeah, so weekend, so structure, then if you go to the JCR content, you can see here device groups are we are still pointing to mobile groups responsive uh, but system is considering that uh, node under conf so this one the global one so it's overriding the lips one the emulators helps the users 
to align the components for individual breakpoints. Find the required breakpoints and the emulators so that template authors can use to arrange the components. That's all for today. Thanks all for watching the video. See you in the next video.